so I have only done this once before. Uh, I've only run the raid one time and it went pretty well, but I was learning as I went and my memory isn't very good. So I don't know how much of that is going to actually carry over to today. Uh, but the goal is for us to have fun. I'm still new to this. Just keep that in mind. I'm just, I'm baby. That's all. Man, it's so cool to see so many only buns tags together. Isn't that so neat? Okay, let's uh, let's give it a shot. If everyone is ready, let me do a ready check. All good. Every bun ready. Oh, I don't hear. Um. Sounds like I'm missing some audio. I didn't. No, I guess it's fine. Okay, never mind. You are the only demon hunter. Yes, you are. Everyone is ready. Okay. Let's, uh, let's kill our first trash. Sound the alarm. Okay, while I learn how to heal on here. <laughs> Stop casting. Stop casting. For deafening roar. I guess that locks you out. Have your... Okay. Let me move this. Okay. Need the... Yeah, we don't have any rogues. We do you know we didn't have any rogues in our raid on Wednesday either. Absolutely demolish that trash. This gives us hope. <laughs> so far, so good. Next. Oh, uh, there's something else. I might need to fix my raid frames before the boss. Yeah. I need them bigger than that. As for the loot, it's, you know, need if you need it. That's the system the we're going to use. Conspirators have finally crawled from their holes to attack Hopefully. my palace. I appreciate you making the extermination of your futile resistance all the easier. Orgrax, feed. I'm fixing my raid frames really quick. One second, I'll give a explanation of the boss. <laughs> okay. So, the first boss. Let me get over here. Olgrax. Okay, so for this guy, we're going to bloodlust at the start. And the first thing he's going to do is Brutal Crush. What Brutal Crush does is for the tanks to deal with, it is going to slap you around like a piece of meat and it is going to tenderize your butt and it's very bad so y'all need to tank swap after every cast of brutal crush that's the first thing uh this it's bad if you get you don't want to be tenderized <laughs> you want to be tender and soft we don't want this okay let's tank swap after every brutal crush next thing uh there's gonna be webbing around don't stand in them Okay, listen to Bran's voice in your head. Don't stand at them. The webs, however, can be removed with digestive acid. So there's going to be green circles on people. And you want to um, hit as many of these as the webs as possible to destroy the webs with the green acid. That's If you get green acid on you, destroy webs. Also, there's going to be a big, swin big spinny, webby, swirly thing. We're going to soak in it. And uh, we can probably YOLO it from there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's probably good enough information. So again, Brutal Crush, Tank Swap after every one. Webbing, don't stand on them. Destroy webbing and soak when, when needed. I'll probably call it out when we need to soak. Okay. Uh, later on, oh, well, later on there's stuff that happens. Um, 
But I can just explain it as we go, probably. <laughs> We're gonna feed him later. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain that when we get to it. Later on, he's gonna be hungry and we need to feed him, but that's, that's pretty straightforward. Time to go all out. <laughs> okay, everyone is ready, so let me do a countdown timer. Um, actually. Pull. Ten. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Okay. Oh. Watch your step. Okay, that's the acid. You got it. It goes to the webs. Good job. Great job. Brutal crush. Tank swaps for this. Looks like y'all have that handled too. Soak in the spinny webby thingy. Come over here and soak in it. Watch okay. your step. In a minute, there's going to be more acid that you, if you get it, the green arrow goes to um, destroy the webs with it. If you get the green circle, actually. Try to destroy as many webs as you can with it. Okay, in a second we're gonna enter phase two. Watch your step. Stop playing with your food and finish them all right. So there's gonna be uh, right. some ads to kill. Which we definitely want to do. There's the ads, so we want to nuke down these ads, and also don't uh, stand in that very obvious and huge tar. Charging. There. Yeah, be careful there. So when we kill these ads, they're going to drop meat, and Charging. you want to pick Move. up the meat so you can feed it to uh, the boss. Charging. So you're going to see Move. this meat on the ground in a, in a minute. If you don't see it already, there it is. Chunky viscera. So just pick that up, and it's going to give you an extra action Watch button. Your step. And then we need to uh, run it to the boss and feed him. Like, we're going to be his Uber Eats right now. <laughs> he wants his McDonald's. So head over there and uh, chunk it in his mouth. Yeah, we got to feed the baby. And uh, we're probably going to have to do it again if there's people that can run back in. Uh, feed him more. He's still hungry. He's still... <laughs> Still wants some food. He's a big boy. Oh no. He's still he's still hungry. Uh oh. What's your step? Starving. So now it's basically phase one mechanics again. So you can see you've got the green stuff, can destroy the webs again. Y'all are kicking ass. So far, so good. You should have let my pet devour you. Destroy the supports! Send them streaming into the Run out. Help soak. Oh, we need to soak in the spinny webby thingy? Go over there. Oh, I got pulled in. Oh, that's a thing I forgot to mention. <laughs> that's the thing I forgot to mention. We want to put the swirly away from the boss because it pulls us in like you've just seen. But we survived, I think. That's my bad. I didn't mention that at all. Sometimes it's good to learn by doing. You know what I mean? Run out. Okay, Help here's the spinny. So come and uh, soak in it. Oh, 
All right, that's a kill. Amazing. First try. Great job, Bun Bun. Huge. Huge prog. It's not even prog. We just one shot it. Amazing. I'm proud. Cool cutscene. Awesome job, Buns. Amazing. Uh, of course, need if you need. That's the, uh, that's the rules here. Be considerate of your fellow Buns. Look at your gear. See if you need it. There's a transmog button if you only need it for transmog. Uh, check stats. You know, this trinket's agility. I can't use that. I don't think it would let me need anyways. Strength. What else we got? Just agility fist. Clothris. And male hat. Ooh, yeah. Fridge. Oh, it looks like I lost, but that's fine. <laughs> Congrats to the buns. Be sure to roll, guys. Go ahead. Please roll if when you can. My great explanations. I explained what was necessary. <laughs> the rest we can figure out, okay? I kind of feel like we can't, uh, I, I can't um, explain every little thing, you know? Or it's just going to take forever and uh, I'll get bored, you know? It's, uh, people's eyes start glazing over. And now you understand if you didn't. Okay, yeah, let's clear out the trash. Good call. Man, I really need a macro for my Destroy healing rain. This is a... Uh, I'm so impressed. Y'all, buns are just so smart. Oh! Oh my god. Huge damage from that trash. What the heck? That was more damage than the boss. We handled it. Recovered. Oh, do you have um, problems with your graphic settings? You might need to set it down to low because of the... Uh... Yeah, that trash hit pretty hard. That's crazy. Was not expecting that. But we got it. Healing on Shaman is a little different than healing on Evoker. I'm learning that too. Onward and upward. Yeah, I probably need to turn down my settings because um, I have everything on ultra usually, and I don't know if my 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 computer can keep up with it. But I'm actually doing okay. But yeah, if y'all need to take a second to adjust settings, that's fine. Just uh, let me know. This part is very FPS intensive. Oh, really? Is it just this part of the raid? That's um. Intense. The Queen will have her prize. Uh oh. Was that intentional? The bloodlust? Probably not. But can't you reset it on the boss? I think it resets. It wasn't it was intentional. Yeah, I think you can reset on the boss. Nice. Oh, is there an ad back there we still need to kill? Oh my gosh, you're dying! I didn't see it back there. We all moved on! Rip. 
Don't die. Down. Murdered a couple people. Are y'all getting res? Yeah. Had no nameplate is sneaky. Shockwave. <laughs> Giant blob. <laughs> WoW is not demanding on GFX, but you can get FPS drops because it relies heavily on CPU. Oh. It is, however, horrible at using multiple cores. Whoa. Ah. Rip. Shockwave. We are getting demolished right now. Might want to deal with this ad first. Shockwave. Whoa. I'm getting eaten. <laughs> oh no. Um, I fell. I fell off. Oh my god, I fell off. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Other dead. Shockwave. I'm gonna try to swim through the blood. Okay, that worked. But we still need to res the other buns who died on the side of the cliff. Y'all got it? The void is bad, but it does look really cool. Yeah, it looks like it shouldn't hurt, right? That's. <laughs> It just looks so cool. Thank you for uh, helping with the reses. Drakthir rescue team, where? Um, soon. My Drakthir is only 78 on uh, EU, unfortunately. Summons? Okay, next boss. Uh, so. First, we can clear out all this trash. This is all just little trash. No biggie. Do you see this uh, regurgitating monstrosity? You want to hear something really embarrassing? Well, when I came in here with N.A. on Wednesday, um, I thought that was the boss for some reason. Like, I don't know why. It doesn't look like a boss. We've already fought trash that looks like that. Okay. And I'm like, ooh, be careful pulling it. Are you sure you're ready to pull it? <laughs> Just so you know, that is not actually the boss, even though he's big man. <laughs> Standing around little things. Shockwave. It's not him, he's cosplaying the boss. That was embarrassing. I did crack a cold one. Just now, could you hear it? <laughs> could you hear me doing that? Okay, be careful, because boss coming. Oh! This is cool. It reminds me of Rag back in the day. He definitely looks a lot better than Rag. He's a boss in my heart. He's always going to be a boss now. <laughs> After that. Okay, so let me explain uh, what goes on here for the Bloodbound horror. Uh, so for this guy... We will bloodlust on pull again. Uh oh, did we pull the boss? <gasps> yes, we did. Run, 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 go, go, run for your lives. Shockwave. Hurry, go. Save yourselves. Okay. <laughs> People, run. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. Well, um. Okay, let's get back to the boss area. He ignored your invis. Things did not go to plan. Alright, anyways. Uh, yeah, there was a boss did a funarchy. We did need to reset anyway. True. So for this boss, we're going to bloodlust on pool. And I am now going to assign groups 
with uh, equal healers, tanks, and DPS. So let me do that. Group one. Hmm. Actually. Yeah, okay. So groups actually mm -mm. yeah, groups one three five is gonna be on one side of the room. And groups two, four, and six are gonna be on the other side of the room. Um, let me get some markers down. If I can. I don't have macros for this, so I need to make it. Should have done this with the. Okay. Okay, I got one made. And over here. Okay, so groups one, three, and five are gonna be on the blue square, your blue group. And groups two, four, and six are gonna be on the green triangle. You are the green group. The way this needs to work is he is going to spit all over, all over us, um, one group at a time. When he spits on you, he gets his saliva and gunk all over you and in your eyes. And this makes you go into the shadow realm and see the shadow realm, okay? Yeah, it's very disgusting. Now, once in the shadow realm, we have a really big problem to deal with, and that is the ads. The ads are the fight. Uh, really, the ads are the, the number one problem in this fight. There is two types of ads and both of them are really horrible. The, the one that I think we need to prioritize is the Harbingers. The Harbingers are gonna be just constantly spamming ads summons. They are gonna, the Harbingers are gonna summon these tiny little guys that constantly are coming out of him and are, they cannot reach the boss. If they reach the boss, it's very, very, very bad. So basically what this means is y'all need to slow them, CC them, nuke them down, don't let the ads get the boss, get to the boss, and kill these harbingers so they stop doing it. Okay. Uh, yeah, Fatui harbingers, that is the priority there. Um, there's another huge problem though. That's not the only kind of ad. The other kind of ad in the Shadow Realm is the Lost Watchers. Lost Watchers have a cast that cannot go off under any circumstances. It is called Black Bulwark. And, uh, yeah, it's the other Twitch ads. <laughs> Black Bulwark must be kicked. Or it's going to give a gigantic shield to the boss and be bad. Okay, so that's the main things. Summoning, like, dealing with the ads that are going to summon, slow them, CC them, nuke them down, kill Harbingers, and make sure you kick Black Bulwark from the Lost Watcher ad. A thing about these ads is they might be spawning in different places. So how do you know where they're about to be? So you can kill them quick. Well, there's going to be shadowy stuff around. This might take a couple of pulls for you to see what it looks like. But there's like a shadowy thing where they're about to appear. So you get a little bit of a heads up and can prepare to nuke before it gets out of hand. Um, okay. And then the, the other thing is that only... Um, <laughs> only one group can get spit on like we have to alternate which groups get spit because when you get spit on you get a debuff and you can't get spit on again that's why we need two groups and you have to alternate back and forth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out it's time for blue to take the frontal right 
in like five seconds. So we can get ready for our team, Blue's team, to take front. And then when it's time for green, I'll call out that it's time for green to take the frontal and go to the shadow realm. So that should make things easier too. We can keep track of it. Um, yeah. Also, uh, that, that's the main things. There's going to be another uh, other minor thing. If you get a red arrow on your head, just move away because you're going to be dropping poop poop all over the place. So just get away from the team. It's, it, that's pretty obvious. Um, okay, so let's give it a shot. I, I don't. I'm, this might take a few pulls because this boss is not that easy. So don't 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 worry if we don't uh, get very far <laughs> immediately. That's fine. Um. So again, uh, to check which group you're in, press O, and you check where your name is, and it's going to tell you what group you're in. Group one, three, five, go to blue side. Group two, four, six goes to the green side. So two, four, six, your green team. One, three, five is blue team. And does anyone have any questions? It's probably better if we pull, and then you can see if you have questions or not, because a lot of this stuff is just going to be abstract until you see it. The boss will spit on you and force you to poop. Correct. Yes, the most important thing is to kill the ads. That is the most important thing. It's very, very, very important. The boss is the ads. Okay, everyone's ready. So let's get our first pull in here. Five, four, three. Two, one. Okay. Good luck. Shockwave. Okay, Blue's taking the first frontal right now. And that means we need to go deal with the ads. Harbingers pooping out ads. Lost bulwark must be interrupted. And be on the lookout where they might spawn. Could be all anywhere. Next frontal in 10 seconds for green. Green should take it in five. Shockwave. Yeah, good job moving the poo poo out of the team. Run out. Keep moving. Safe now. Watch your step. Okay, run out of the blue, gigantic blue circle. Watch Just run feet. away, run away. Okay. Watch your Next feet. frontal in 10 for blue team. Shockwave. It's time.
Kinnick's frontal for green. I was late on the call out, but y'all got it. Run out. Keep moving. Watch your feet. Safe now. Watch your feet. Watch your step. Hey, run away, run away, run away. Next frontals in 15 for blue team. Watch your feet. And fought, well, five seconds about. Shockwave. Wow, amazing. Holy moly. Holy crap. You actually did it on the first try? My spies will provide access. You to actually cleared it on the first try? Swiftly. It will not be long Damn. Until Queen realizes where you are. Oh my god. Insane. I'm shook right now. I can't believe this happened. I might not have studied enough bosses for today. <laughs> I'm like, well, we're probably not getting past that one, so... <laughs> I'm worried. Y'all are gonna reach the limit of my knowledge today. <laughs> uh, that's great. Roll 11. Oh yeah, I need that. Great job. I think I might have, um... Did I mess up with the group distribution? <laughs> I might have. I need to look at it again, but we, it doesn't matter because we crushed it. Bun congratulations to all the buns. We've got some upgrades. Huge. How are they with shapes, though? That's what we're about to find out. <laughs> so far, doing really well. So I have high hopes. NA Raiders from Wednesday. Remember, we were the guinea pigs if EU gets more than three bosses down. That's true. That is true, though. NA was absolutely guinea pigs. Oh, no, I had the group distribution correct. I just double checked. It was fine. We good. Huh. I love shapes. Flying up there. That's so that's so amazing. I'm really proud. Great job, Buns. I think that there's some mechanics that, like, you might be automatically familiar with if you've done stuff in 14 too, though, you know? Like the trailing poo-poo. I've done that already. <laughs> Is it rave, Tom? Yes. That's gonna be... Flashy colors? on the next boss. 
This is gonna be... Shapes. The next boss I would describe as Fast and Furious in a beta testing the raid. Well, yeah, I learned a lot from the NA raid when I went in knowing really nothing. So it helped to figure out like what, what callouts are gonna be important. <laughs> NA walked so EU could run, okay. <laughs> Intruders have breached the barracks. Sound the alarm. Shockwave. Shockwave. Okay. Wow, shaman healing is actually really fun. It's fun. Is Shockwave. anyone here trying a spec that they haven't? Like something new? Shockwave. Today? There are no rogues. There was no rogues on um, on Wednesday either for NA. Rogues are hiding, obviously. <laughs> Shockwave. The rogues are hiding. I don't believe Sally is in this raid. Um, today. He's probably busy doing heroics or some hardcore thing. <laughs> actually, no, that's not true. I think he's actually on a vacation or something. He's probably in the chat watching this. We don't have monks either? Oh my god! We don't have Shockwave. monkas. Interesting. There's a stealth glitch that will make you randomly out of stealth out of any time. Oh, <gasps> really? How long has that been in the game? So apparently rogues are not hiding Shockwave. very effectively after all. Miss Weaver new for you? But we don't have the... Oh no, dead. Oh, Careful there. Every step in blood. If I had a, if we had another demon hunter, I could probably go monk for the buff. Shockwave. Surprised we don't have demon hunters. That's usually an extremely pop popular uh, class. Zayn underscore and says fun fact while you raid. Today marks 55 years since Scooby-Doo first broadcast. The first Super Mario Brothers game was released Target in 1985, you. and the first traffic-related casualty occurred when Henry Bliss crashed his car. D. Zayas. That's so random. None of those things even go together, Zayas. How do all these facts connected? Your mad Are you trying? Is this a is this a encrypted here. message for me? For okay. Um. So I need to. Turn off a couple things here. Really quick on my UI. And then I'll explain. Okay, now let me fix our markers so I can explain how this part is going to work. Three. I need 
one more marker. Okay, so let me set these up so I can describe what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, buns. So for this boss, we will bloodlust on pull again. And he is going to do something called phase blade. If you get a red arrow on your head, you need to move to the edge of the arena. There's going to be four people that get red arrows. And the four-person group needs to go to the edge of the arena and create a box formation over there. So um, for the first box, we can use markers. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make a random box. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Okay. Um, because what he's going to do with the box is... You know how Ravana <laughs> dashes from one, two, three, four swords? It's kind of the thing that he does similar to that. And uh, so we want to put it... If you got a red arrow on your head, go to the edge and make a box away from everyone. Now, whenever this happens and he dashes through people, he is going to leave behind ghosts where you stood. Later, two people will get blue arrows that they can use to destroy the ghosts. Well, so if you get a blue arrow, you want to go to the ghost and uh, he's going to shoot a line of blue stuff at you that can eliminate the ghosts. It's the ghost busting. Okay. Uh, so that's it. You got four red arrows that go to the edge and make a box. And then after, you're going to have two blue arrows that go to kill the ghosts left behind from this operation. Um, bust the ghosts with blue. Correct. So you might need to stand in the front of the box to uh, get the ghost's dead as a ghostbuster with the blue arrow. However, we cannot always use this markers right here. The reason for that is because after this happens, there's going to be poo-poo on the ground. What this means is we need to recreate our box the next time the arrows happen in front of the poo-poo. So moving clockwise, we're just going to repeat this all around the edge of the arena. Yeah. So red, pe red arrow people go make a box. If there's poo, poo on the ground, go in front of where it was, clockwise. And uh, that's kind of the main thing. That's kind of it. Um, we're going to be dodging swirlies. You can handle that. The other main thing is for tanks. There is a nasty tank mechanic in this fight. Gammon is doing Bonarchy right now. <laughs> The tanks, what he's going to do to tanks is he's going to hit you with two exposes and then do a phase lunge. After the two exposes, the other tank needs to taunt, so he takes the third part. You cannot take the third part of the this or you'll die. You can only take two exposes and then the other tank must taunt. You cannot, if you take the triple attack, you're dead. That's so, and it's also very quick. It's very fast. So this is going to be a test of your reflexes if you are a tank. Good luck, tanks. Um, other thing. Let me reload my UI because I got... I got errors. And uh, that's... Any, any questions? That's kind of it. Red arrows make a box on the edge. Blue arrows will go and kill the ghosts by standing. Just take your blue arrow to the ghosts. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to keep making boxes all around the edge in a, in a clockwise way. We learn by doing. Yep. Might not get it right the first time. I'll try to call out as best as I can. Still, come on. 
will the raid lead to Bunarchy? You're asking the crystal ball. Let's see. I would not count on it. No. He knows better. He knows better than to say that he would predict Bunarchy. He's going to end up like Pepe Chu if he's not careful. <laughs> okay, everybody's ready. Let's do a countdown. Good luck, Buns. It's okay if we don't get it on the first pull. Don't don't put too much pressure on Five, yourself. Okay. Four, three. It's a pretty two, quick boss with a lot one. of th uh, things. Your heads will make fine trophies. Flesh was made for cutting. Okay, the first red arrows are going out in a second. So red arrows go to the box. Go make a box in the left side of the room. Your guard cannot stop oh. me. We might be okay still. Might be able to survive. Flesh was made for cutting. Deadly technique. Whoa, swirlies. Dodge swirlies. Careful. Flesh was made for cutting. Okay, next red arrows in one second. So if you get a red arrow, go to the left side in front of the Chase blue poo poo. My, my blade always finds its mark. And you're going to see blue arrows in a second. In four seconds, you're going to see uh, blue arrows. And you can take those to the uh, kill ghosts with. I adore the sound of fresh steel. Whoop. Oh! <laughs> Flesh was made for cutting. Next red arrows in one second. So keep a lookout and make a box on the left side of the room. Your guard cannot stop me. It's a little messy, but it's getting there. Flesh Might still be okay, actually. We might be able to just... Blue arrows are coming in five seconds. Good job. Flesh was made for cutting. Oh, red arrows are out. My blade always finds its mark. So we're gonna want to take the red arrows to uh, where you can see the three ghosts right now in front counterclockwise from the poo poo. Might be able to Deadly technique yeah. still do it. Your filth from my blade. Flesh was made for cutting. Okay, next charge in two seconds. That's red arrows. Go make a box if you can on the on the side of the room. Go, 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 go. It's a little awkward to do so because it's been messy. So we want to um, not be in between the boss and the arrows because he's going to be dashing Flesh and it hurts. But we're good. We're actually killing him. <laughs> Wow. Unbelievable. No way. Oh my god. Another first try. This is so ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Yes, we cleared this boss on NA. Yeah. Gamers. 
<laughs> I can't believe it. Well done. EU DPS is real. Like, EV <laughs> EU does not mess around. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm shook. Oh, that's a really cool bow. Nice looking bow. Uh, I think this insignia is a... Oh, uh, it's probably good for anyone. I don't know. I'll pass, so. Pattern for leather working. I don't know who's a leather worker. Ooh, venerated stalwarts emblem. I'll take that. We are killing it. Holy shit. I, I cannot believe this. It's not even been an hour. We killed three bosses. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Now, this one I did look at in case we got this far. Okay, um... Good, uh, congratu congratulations for all of the buns who just got some upgrades. Good job. Challenge the might of Man. Amazing. Empire. Amazing. This one might be harder because, um... I, I won't know what to call out yet, so I'm going to be learning here. Because I, I, we didn't get this far before. So I'm still going to be learning appropriate callouts. So I, I very much doubt we'll kill it on the first try. Kill my soldiers. But who knows? Let's prove it wrong again. <laughs> like, now don't. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, buns. Okay, don't overdo it. We're here to learn. <laughs> You're like, bet. We have some real gamers on EU. It's just ridiculous. I progged top in Party Finder. I can handle anything. <laughs> Maybe we'll do Mythic in here then. I mean, heroic seems totally feasible. Like, I feel like we could have come in here on a heroic today. I mean, it's a separate, uh. Your it's a separate lockdown. Conspiracy is doomed. Tech. Yeah, I kind of agree. Like, I'm I'm really proud of the EU today, of course. And that's mostly what I feel. But, um, as I said, on Wednesday, we were still learning. And uh, I said on Wednesday that I thought it would be pretty unfair to compare the two. I know it's natural. For buns to, um, you know, get into the competitive mindset, but at the end of the day, uh, we've had more time to gear, you know, since then, we just had more time to gear up, and that's a factor. Because frankly, uh, the past, the last no boss was still pretty messy, and I don't think we could have gotten away with it. Oh, let's reset. Although it's in a good spirit, I agree with Tack that um, can easily be taken a wrong way. LFR has been out. More people have had time to do LFR as well. That's true. So there's factors that make it unfair to compare. I do agree. Yeah. 
It's totally normal. Just EU had more time to prep and gear up. Absolutely. We've had several days. I think it's, is it, oh no, it's, the rampart. Okay. So. Yeah, Tech, I completely agree with you and I really appreciate you pointing that out because it can get out of hand and just be rude at a certain point. All right, so for this boss, um, this is similar to the boss from the Dawnbreaker, if you've done that dungeon. And we're, again, we're gonna be bloodlusting on pole. There will be webs uh, that you need to put on the edge. If you get targeted with the web, um, you need to move it to the edge of the arena. Whenever you do that, it is going to tether you. So you need to run away from it to break the tether. Um, what, that's gonna be pretty obvious though. <laughs> You're gonna wanna get away from it. And uh, the thing is that when you break the tether, there is gonna be raid-wide AOE damage. This might be a problem, it might not. We'll see how heavy the damage is and if we can manage it. There is also going to be, from Dawnbreaker, you might recall the rolling acid. These waves of green acid that are going across. Obviously, um, you want to try to put the wa gigantic waves of green acid not on the raid. You want to put them on the edge. This is the reason we put the webs on the edge. So we put webs on the edge and the acid can destroy webs. So we put the webs on the edge and then we put the acid just so it can destroy those webs, but not be on the part, on the raid, right? Um, we're gonna use the waves to destroy the webs. Also, uh, there's gonna be a really big healing thing called erosive spray that's gonna hurt really, really bad. So healers, uh, we need to save our healing cooldowns for erosive spray. It's gonna put a nasty dot on the raid. Um, there's another mechanic with yellow arrow circles. And for these, you want to get to melee and not overlap uh, because it's going to make ads come out. So if you get the yellow circle, go to melee and spread. So melee can kill ads when ads come out. Um, after that, the boss will fly to a new spot. And we're going to dodge. We're just going to fly to where the boss is. Then uh, there's a thing that we need to interrupt that's very, very important to interrupt called acidic eruption. It's very, very important. If we don't interrupt acidic eruption after the boss flies, the boss will get immune and it's very bad. There will be those, remember those soaky, soaking the spinny webby swirly thingies? Those are gonna come back then. And uh, tanks have a tank swap after every savage assault. It's nasty damage. You need to use a big cooldown for savage assault and taunt after each assault. So uh, once more, webs on the edge, use rolling acid to destroy the webs. Heavy healing on erosive spray. If you get a yellow arrow circle, go to melee and spread and interrupt acidic eruption. Okay. Any question? I'll try to th call things out as we go, but this is my first time doing this. Uh, so I, there, there might be some, some issues. <laughs> okay, everyone is ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Tear you apart! Biting rain! Ravage! No escape! Take your webs to the edge. The big healing thing is happening in five seconds, so get ready for that. Poison 
Waves, can you use those to destroy the webs? Uh oh. We got hit by a wave, so this is going to take some heavy healing. I don't know if we're going to survive. Pull ads out. Destroy these ads, nuke them down. Okay. Follow the boss and dodge swirlies. And remember to interrupt the acidic eruptions if you see it. Dodge swirlies, careful. with those waves. Good job. to kill ads. Follow the bus and dodge stuff on the way. Careful. Brutal claw. Good job on interrupts. Oh my god, I almost fell off. <laughs> Next wave's in two seconds. Careful. All right, good job. Really good job. Great job, everyone. Ah. Really, really good job. Give me a challenge. <laughs> I feel like we might be overgeared, but that's fine because i'm definitely need loot but we did uh i mean we did most things right Ooh, wings back that's a pretty cool looking cape oh we need shaman thing war glaives 
Nice. Wow, the weapons and armor here looks great. Yes. Those war glaives are for you. We only have one. Uh, only have one demon hunter in the team. Yes, you're the only one that uses war glaives. How many bosses? Have we killed uh, four people. Uh, fa, four people. Four bosses. <laughs> four bosses. We Shot killed way. four people. So far. Bug people. Yes, thank you, Demi. <laughs> Shockwave. But I, uh, I, I do think it's just gear. Shockwave. Because... It's a little messy here and there, but we, we, but we got it. We got doing. Oh no! Later, you died. Oh no! Okay, you're back. This is normal. No drops yet. Yeah, same. Where do I want to go? Ovinex? I, I don't know, uh, because I don't know a lot about either one. Let's try Kyvesa, I guess. None of you shall leave this place. I think Kyvesa might be easier. Will be a testament to I'm not sure, though. There is no need for us to entertain this filth any longer. The only thing that concerns us now is my ascension. That's right. Because both bosses, both next bosses seem hard to me. Um, after that, I actually didn't, yourself. like, I don't know what the boss after that does. <laughs> Because I wasn't... I really didn't think we would kill that far today. So maybe uh, some bunny that has... done it. Uh, the future one. If we can get past this next boss, the next two bosses, then we'll, we'll go from there. Shockwave. Yeah, those those war glaives look really sick. Shockwave. First three, har yeah, we could actually. Uh, we could try to do the next three, the first three on uh, heroic, since I'm not really familiar with the um, bosses after. Well, we could if we hit a wall. Um, then maybe that's a, a good a good idea. It might not it might not be a bad idea. Well. And A, we also had very limited time. Uh, I didn't want to go past 10, so we spent th uh, only a little time. Today I have some more time because I'm starting at 2 p.m., but I, I, we didn't establish how long we wanted to go today either. So. A lot of stuff is going to be new for me. But we'll just see how we do. Um, I'm grateful for the experience no matter what, because I'm learning a lot. I think it's just great to see all the buns together. <laughs> it makes me so happy. See all the only bun tags. It's so cool. I should have really wished that we had taken some screenshots on Wednesday. That I, I didn't think about it. By the way, if you're on the raid, if you were in the raid on Wednesday and you took screenshots, please uh, put them in our WoW screenshots channel. Because I didn't take any. Shockwave. Yes, it is wholesome. <laughs> Together. Shockwave. As Bun Fam. We shall. Devour. Oh, crap. Wow, that's some big damage. That's some big damage, though. Shockwave. I hope my healing's been alright, because... 
I haven't done much healing since. Uh, last time I shaman healed was BFA, really. And I just had this character on enhancement. Oh no! Did you fall? <laughs> I infiltrated the Queen's courtmaster. She suspects nothing. Um, I don't know if I can res. You got it? Okay, good. You have seen too much, and I cannot leave any loose ends. Huh. Okay, so, uh, some people are going on a bathroom break, and I think it's a good idea if you need a time, if you need a couple uh, minutes to take a little break, grab a drink, um, go potty or whatever you need to do, go ahead and do that right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Can I explain the lore? Well, what part of the lore do you want an explanation on? She looks like an ethereal. Is she really? Do you know about the ethereals? The boss. Is she actually? I think so. Nexus Princess sounds like an ethereal. Or is it a void Nerubian? Let me look. Kai Vesa. I think she's an ethereal. I think she is. Which is insane that she would ally herself with the void, considering what happened to the ethereals. The ethereals are extremely unique creatures because what happened to them was they were living on their home planet that was like a desert planet and uh but it was it was it was like arizona okay it was still really cool it was like phoenix and they had a very advanced magical technology society it's the tech magico technological society and Everything was good for them. They were just normal people. Who knows what they looked like before? Maybe they were bunny people. But then one day, a horrible monster, a void lord, showed up. Dementious, the all devouring, showed up and just wrecked their planet. He showed up and he must have been having a bad day because he opened all these portals to the void and the twisting nether all around their whole planet. And he was just like, fuck this planet in particular. Because of what he did, they had a flood of arcane and dark magic, like a flood of light, you know, but instead of light, it's dark and magic energy. And it should have killed them all, obviously. This was an apocalypse. But because they had such a good magical technology, they rushed to, like, put barriers up and try to save themselves. And it kind of worked. The dark magic was blocked. But then the magical energy destroyed their, their bodies. And they became like incorporeal entities and they had to wrap themselves up with this like enchanted strips of cloth and that's all that they only need it so they can have enough structure to survive now so you would think that they would really not like the void creatures after what happened to them because it's extremely horrible that's a horrible thing Let's not stop Zalatath then, so I can be any other thrill. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was just trying to eat the planet. Yeah, they're literally held together by CVS receipts. You got it. Can I get assist? Uh, sure. 
so sometimes people ask like could i be an ethereal could we have could we have new ethereals we had someone asking that in the discord the other day no <laughs> you, you don't want there to be new ethereals okay that would be really bad okay so let's uh, if everyone is back then i can start explaining the fight thank you for conveniently putting the markers around uh the boss for this one Let's do a ready check to see if uh, people are back. Okay, so for Kaivessa, again, we're going to bloodlust on pool. She has a mechanic where if you get to 10% HP, you die. She'll kill you. <laughs> that's too low. If you get too low, you die. So that's scary for healers. Um, what she's going to do is assassination. Now, this is a, uh, going to do massive shadow damage to anyone in a circle. So if she targets you with, um, assassination, you're going to get, uh, you need to go to one of the markers. Basically, all the people that get assassination targeted, y'all need to go to spread out around the markers this is going to apply something called queen's bane to you and what queen's bane does is f shoot out bullet hell it's going to shoot out ouchy ouchy orbs in three directions so that's why it all needs to be spread out and taken away from the group because you are gonna you're gonna go get an assassination debuff go to your spot and shoot out ouchy orbs okay now, do you remember on the last boss how it left behind a clone after the mechanic? Same, similar thing is going to happen, but these clones are worse. These clones are nether phantoms, and they are going to uh, mimic the boss's nether rift ability. So, this is another thing that we can solve by just spreading around in the markers. She is going to... Uh, spawn a rift on the active tank which is going to be this pretty bright blue circle thingy and clones will spawn and uh basically the rifts are going to pull into their location this is another reason we have every bun spread out if the rifts are pulling into their location and they're spread out in the markers then this means that they all cancel each other out and we won't get pulled anywhere see what i mean that's that's how we're gonna be smart about it. <laughs> um, so when we spread around, the clones pull-ins are gonna cancel each other. So at this point, you just need to worry about putting the assassination spread out around. Um, at the same time, the orbs are gonna happen. Like I said, ouchy orbs. Uh, clones are also gonna be doing this blue stabby line stabby line like it's a it looks like a very big scary stabby line and it is going to charge and apply queen's bane debuff to everybody in its path which is going to fire out she orbs where the wherever it ends up like where it charges is going to be a new spawn point for another rift so basically if you get the stabby blue line you want to aim the charges out from the group and keep them spread out Okay. I think that's all I can really explain right now. This is something that's going to be... You'll see it and then understand it. Yes. Um, I think we can try to YOLO it a little bit. I'll just say assassination. Spread around, around the, the hexagon here. If you get the stabby blue line, aim it out from the group and keep them spread out. Okay. Dodge shit. There's gonna be a lot of orbs and shit to dodge. There's gonna be bullet hell. Okay. We're gonna learn by doing...
Hi, Star Singer MLP. Any plans to do these raids weekly with the guild? Absolutely. Yes. Of course. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. I've never done this before. So. <laughs> we'll see. Five, four, three, two. My secret dies with you. Marked for death. Okay, spread out if you have the blue thing. You can see it's left behind the clones. Watch your step. That are gonna shoot ouchy orbs. Void take you. Executed. I strike from everywhere. Stay away from lines. Avoid the lines. Watch your step. Void take you. Got it. So as you can see, these blue uh, circles are going to need to be spread around where the markers are at. It, you, there's not a lot of room to react. It's, it's pretty short time to react. Uh, but if we do that, then it'll cancel out all the suck-in effects. You Stay away from lines. Avoid the lines. Watch your step. Void take you. Quick and painless. Surrender to the night. Okay, if you have a straight line, just try to move minimally and don't put, don't uh, stand in front of it. If you see one near you, just try to keep it in a way that other people can avoid it. Yep. Okay, spread those things out if you can. Good job. One drops from the boss. Marked for death. Watch your step. One dropped on the boss. Yeah, I see. Executed. One always drops from the boss. Oh yeah. So that means the tank needs to be over by uh, on one of the sides. Yeah, yeah. We, we adjust as we go. <laughs> you Stay away from lines. Avoid the lines. Watch your step. Devouring darkness. Quick and painless. I strike from everywhere. Run out. Stay away from lines. Watch your step. Void take you. The stars cannot reach you here. Line on you. Circles going out, y'all can spread. Marked for death.
Watch your step. Void take you. Final twilight. Stay away from lines. Watch your step. Spread out your rifts. Devouring darkness. Oh, they do they go undead? Execute. I think they do. I strike from everywhere. Shredded. You stay away from lines. Wow. We did it. We actually did it. Good job. Impressive. Yeah, it's pretty but clear to me at this point that we are overgeared for this and en these encounters. The queen to you. I get paid That's good though. Yeah, we killed him. Your bounties grow before I collect. Until Man, then, a bow and a crossbow dropped, and I'm not on my hunter. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Agility trinket. Exposing the ethereal has the queen questioning everyone in her court. She is losing her grip. Three void reaper contract joined. I mean, rolled. Dropped. I can't speak. Congratulations to winners for loot. And let's move on to the next boss. Great job, Buns. Okay, so next boss, uh, we're gonna do Olvinax. This is another boss that I, I did learn about. Um, but past that, I won't know anything. And so, yeah, does anybody have a repair bot? Star Singer asks, how's the bun business going? Pretty good. <laughs> Fun business is booming. We are uh, growing, expanding, and such. Okay. Um. Oh, you got. Thanks. Repair bot here, if you need. Expanding bun sounds painful. <laughs> Does trash have mechanics to be aware of? Shockwave. Kinda. What's this? Glyph of Dread. Oh, you need inscription. We do need uh, to get some people who want to craft for the guild to help prepare stuff like flasks and food and things like that. Whoa! Oh my god! Woo! It's 
So about the mechanics on trash. <laughs> about that looks like they all enraged you're not supposed to break every egg i have no clue <laughs> i have no idea Me root. Should I release? I don't know how far back the run is. We had a we had a rogue chain lightning and rogue divine shield. <laughs> they just teleported me to them and killed me again. Oh, that's a bug that I've seen. Yeah. I have seen people complaining about that bug already. The trash harder than boss. I'm lazy. Thank you for the res. Thanks. Do we have food? Well, maybe we should clear the pack first. Before. Food. Are we ready? I can go on ahead. Gotta be careful now. Oh no, Archon, you're done? What? How did you die? You got yeeted. Oh, I didn't even see that happen. F in the chat for Archon. F. You were a good tank. Last in pieces. Interrupt. Now I'm scared of this boss. Like, if the trash is this bad, what's the boss gonna be like? Boss easy? Well, I read about the boss and it sounded pretty complicated. But I trust you. You think it's gonna be easy? Oh, it's got green crap on the ground. Are they exploding? Oof. It's only complicated if you read it. Oh, is this one of those situations where when you try to explain it, it sounds really hard, but then you do it and it's not? <laughs> okay, so uh, can you put down markers? Um, somebody who's familiar with the fight of where people can go uh, as a priority for their... Um, Players marked need to hatch different eggs. Okay, you think there's no need for markers? Okay. Closest to the void. So, yes, you just have to hatch the ones that are closest to that thing. The sanguine overflow is what it's called right there. Um, okay, so the boss. We're gonna again bloodlust on pull. 
And this fight is ads. It's ads, 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 ads. Again, Twitch ads, boss. There is going to be a cast called Ingest Black Blood. Healers, we need to prepare for this. It's going to be a uh, do a healing absorb and ticking damage. So this is our big healing thing, Ingest Black Blood. After this, uh, there will be a Sanguine Overflow, which is going to spread out of the Sanguine Overflow thingy. If it touches an egg, it's going to hatch the ad. And there's a three different kinds of ads that we need to worry about in the fight. The first kind is called a Colossal Spider. Tanks need to pick these up. If they touch this, basically this is true for any ad. If any ad touches the Sanguine Overflow, they get really, really worse. They mutate into something extremely horrible. Okay. So the Colossal Spiders, tank pick these up. There will be worms from the medium size eggs. So Colossal Spider is from the big eggs. Medium sized eggs are going to have voracious worms. And the worms are going to do something called poison burst. This must be kicked at all costs. You absolutely must kick the poison burst. You must kick poison burst from the worms. Do not let the worms spew their poison. That's disgusting. Uh, there will be small eggs that hatch blood parasites. These are going to fixate on random people. Do not let them reach you. If you get fixated, run like hell. Okay, kite, CC, do not let them reach you. And obviously, uh, they need to be killed. So that, because if they do reach you, they're going to spawn more parasites and do a horrible dot on the victim. So if you get, so what you need to worry about as a DPS generally is running from the fixated little bugs, kiting them, slowing them, whatever you got to do. Kicking poison burst from the worms and killing ads. Okay, now uh, we are going to be getting a uh, experimental dosage debuff on ourselves. There's going to be two players that get this debuff. If you get it, you need to go hatch an egg yourself. And you want to prioritize the ones that are closest to the sanguine overflow, as you can see, being pinged. You want to prioritize those. Um, we need to control the hatching ourselves so we can handle it. Many eggs handle it. <laughs> um, there will be a taunt swap volatile concoction. I'm gonna put a nature dot on you, so please taunt swap after every debuff application from volatile concoction. Uh, and finally, there's gonna be sticky webs, a white, big webby white circle. Go away from the raid with this. And healers are gonna have to dispel it. That's it. Okay, so once more, uh, going over everything. Bloodlust on pool, adds, adds, adds. Kick the worm's poison burst. D if you get fixated from a little bug, run away, kite it, kill it. Uh, if you get experimental dosage, go hatch an egg near the sanguine overflow. Tank swap on volatile concoction and sticky webs go away. Got it? Any of the three. We will have to move him to another at some point. Okay, so just the one that we're at is the one, is the sanguine one that you need to worry about. That's where we're positioning. When all the eggs are hatched, we move. Yes. We're here to learn. It's okay if we make mistakes. That's fine. Yes, we're gonna... <laughs> we're hatching things. This is so disgusting. <laughs> it's so disgusting. Just make sure you kill the egg closest to the team. Okay, we're gonna... I'm gonna do the pool counter. Five, four, four, good luck. Three, two, one. Special coming. Okay, the container breach.
There's a worm. Make sure to kick its poison burst. Good job. Tank debuff in three. Okay, we have a spider out and a worm. So tank pick up spider. So someone else should have an injection to hatch. Good job. Okay, we have a worm and some parasites, so don't worry about, uh, careful about getting fixated here. If you're getting fixated, you'll need to run and uh, so we can nuke these things. You can slow them, you can slow the parasites and CC, lock them down. Special coming. Target you. Worm got T. Yeah, if the if the ads step in the stuff, it's very bad. That's what does so much damage. Next injection is happening now. Someone has the uh, ability to hatch a bug. Nice. Woo! Good job. Great job, team. Another boss down. Yeah, we had a pretty uh, scary moments there, but we recovered. So great, great work, everyone. I saw lots of interrupts happening. I saw uh, people moving where they're supposed to go. So, like, great, great work. Well done. The queen is furious over the destruction of her experiments. Keep pushing. The Queen has opened the Inner Sanctum to send her elite guards to kill you.
Bun, congratulations on the winners. For loot. Okay, so the next boss, I don't know about. <laughs> We've reached the limit of my knowledge. So I'm going to be figuring it out as we go. I'll need explanations if any of y'all have done this. So there's two major mechanics. One is that you have to make because a net across a charge. After I kill them, I will expose the traitor in our midst. The only thing you will expose is your weakness. And the other I is dispelling. These insurgents in the name of Queen Ansarek. Likely to cover your own treachery. After I rend them, I will deliver your head as well. Okay. Okay, so the big boy's gonna put out some webs. Two people need to grab a web and spread it across in front of him when he charges. The skinny lady is gonna teleport to the middle. Three debuffs will go out. They need to stand under her and get dispelled to interrupt her cast. Okay. Um. So they probably need to be dispelled at different times. Okay, I'm looking at a guide here. Do we need to define who's doing webs or is it random? That's my question. You can pick people. Okay, well then why don't we pick two people that are, that maybe uh, know, that have more experience in here? Okay, demon. Okay, uh, demon and Dakith, y'all can do it. So this is for the web bombs. Uh, we need two people inside so that they'll be, you will get connected together with the tether, with the webs tether. And um, I think you have to stay in the web, so you don't break your link. And then uh, for the reckless charge, you will need to uh, use your web to stop his charge. And then after he, uh, so is this a boss that we need a bloodlust on pull for? Yeah, probably. Um, the caster lady, Takaj, she's gonna teleport to the middle. And uh, do we need to be concerned about the uh, pie slices of the room detonating? Well, I guess we can just YOLO it. Uh, okay, she is going to do a suck in effect. And everybody is going to have tethers, so we just need to break tethers. Spread out from your partner to break your tethers. That's something we're all pretty from Not all, but a lot of us know what to do with tethers to break. Um, stinging swarm. Three players will get a stinging swarm debuff. This debuff will jump to the closest player or Takaj. For each stack on Takaj, she takes more damage. All of the stacks need to be transferred to Takaj before Cataclysmic Entropy. So, um, how do we need to manage dispelling these stacks? Can you just mass dispel on all three? Would that work? Pie slices should be easy for us. Okay. So, if you get the debuff, you need to go close to her and get dispelled. However, is there timing for the dispels? It, apparently not. Okay. 
because you can't YOLO dispel. But wouldn't a mass dispel be a YOLO dispel? <laughs> What are the timings for dispels? You have to give the players time to move. Oh, okay. So we want to make sure that players are under her before being dispelled. That's fine. We dispel when they're in position. Got it. Um, then after that, the big guy will teleport to the middle and shield himself. Um, rings are going to spawn on the inner cardinals and slowly expand. We don't want to get hit by the rings. Okay, so we just um, destroy a spike during that. That's going to be pretty obvious. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. Um, which boss do we focus on for the DPS? Does it matter? Or is this a shared health pool? Doesn't matter. They share HP, so it doesn't matter. Okay. They will get more damage when you stun the charge. Okay. Okay. Five. Four, three, <laughs> Thank you, Park's two, here. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm trying. Lives are forfeit. Venomous sting. We. Viscous detonation. Shockwave. I'm being fixated by an ad. Charging. Move. Rip. So, four... There seems to be two groups of webs. Shockwave. So basic, yes. Uh, so our two assigned Some Webbers Britain. need to, y'all stick together as a pair. Uh, maybe we should mark y'all so you can find each other Some and go to the Britain. same web together. And y'all gotta stay in that same oh, web circle. Do we have a bun that can uh, mass rise up? No. We actually wiped on a boss. Insane. Yes, we did. <laughs> Just don't get hit. Um, I don't know what the pineapple game is. Is that like simming the fight? Oh, I didn't drink the potion. Uh, it's too late now. Crap, I missed my Red Bull. Heck. Mark the web we go to. Good idea. We don't need the flash game. We can just do the fight and see it that way. <laughs> oh, there's another potion rack here. I think they tried to make these runbacks a little less painful, you know, with the uh, p speed potions. I appreciate that. This is the EU raid. Yes, it is. Fear the beard. Um, do we have feasts? Does it? I mean, it might not be the right time for a feast because we could wipe again. Okay. Everything stew, thanks.
Uh, I feel like I need a poison dispel totem for this fight. I don't have one. Is this thing we need to dispel later on poison or not? It's weird that it's not recommended for the talent build for this particular fight. That's strange. But I feel like I need it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Okay. I am good. Let's do a ready check. You think the dispel is magic? Oh, okay. Well, I still feel like I need it because I saw people with poison debuffs on them. Sun Bunny is awake, so we'll wait a little bit. Um, there is also ads in the fight. I was getting fixated in the beginning, and I was not expecting that. <laughs> Didn't know about that before. Um, why were there ads? So, Stinging Swarm is the name of the debuff that you want to take to Takaj in Phase 2. That's the main thing. Back. Okay, let's do a pulled countdown. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one. I will have your skulls. Your lives are forfeit. Toxic wound. Brave. Viscous detonation! Shockwave. Oh my god. Charging. Move.
shockwave. Up, oh, I changed my talent build, and okay, I'll tell you later. Charging. Move. Charge. Another trophy for my queen. Another trophy for my queen. Uh, it's pizza slices. Didn't see this yet. Oh, it shows you where it's going to go. Doesn't do lethal damage. Foul cretin. So, do we want to put these web circles in a certain place? Basically, it's like proteins, isn't it? It shows you, and then a second later it goes off. Yeah, it's like proteins. Oh, that's the binding webs. That's the pull away from the other person. person Special coming. Pizza slices are fine. Yeah, a fight we can actually prog. <laughs> it's good. Um, but I'm I changed my talents, and it messed up my hot bars. So let me fix it. Let's do a ready check. If you have a fixate, run under the boss and then around the boss if it doesn't die. Got it. Okay, everyone's ready. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one. I will have your your lives are so the ads are in five? Oui. 
that bomb is about to happen. Move out of the shockwave. Charging. Move. Don't get charged in, too. Shockwave. Ads are coming out now. Viscous detonation. Venomous sting. Shockwave. Shockwave. Charging, move. Foul cretin. Ouch. Damn, I got hit for a lot. Oh, did he, his charge didn't get, uh, one of our webs died. Oh, okay. That's fine. Foul cretin. We need to clear webs. How do we clear the webs? Mm -hmm. You just solo run through. So we only need one, uh, web for our pair of people handling the mechanic right the rest of them can be destroyed so our two webbers need to go straight to it and then um after that's done then they can just start getting destroyed it's safer to leave too Yeah. Get the ads under the boss. So you see them and kill them. Yeah, the ads are staying up a little longer than they need to. Range, just please go under the boss. Yep. Yeah. Okay. When you have an ad. Yeah, there's a that's true. There's a lot of shit on the floor, so it's hard to navigate. Focus clearing the webs in the middle. Okay. Wait. 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 Don't. Don't. Shit. Shit. I didn't see wait till too late. Oh my god. Run away! Try to reset. Yeah, the boss hard. 
Oh, can't cast as a slime. <laughs> Close call there. I will eat food. There's a stew for you to eat. Right there. Right click the buff of being a slime. If you are a slime. <laughs> oh, it's a debuff, so you can't? Okay, never mind. Once everyone's ready, we will go. That's my bad. I stood in the shockwave. So, charging, move. Whoa. Ouch. No net. Yeah, there was no net. What's, uh, but I died, so I don't know if you died to damage. I realized I need to be closer to a new Barash because he's the one doing this gigantic shockwave. And if you're too far, you won't be able to dodge it. I also think that we should choose to focus on uh, the big guy so everybody will be stacked up and it will be easier for healing. Because right now we're kind of scattered. First set of ads were great. Yeah. It's getting clean. It's getting cleaned up. A pointless endeavor. I have health pots, uh, but if you need them, speak up. Some some of us might have extra. Yeah. Don't stand on them.
Yeah, I think this is probably the hardest boss here. That's what I've heard people say. I don't know if it's true, but it's it seems pretty hard. It's definitely a step up in difficulty from the other ones. Because we haven't even dealt with the debuff situation yet. I haven't even got to that. Uh, I'm going to change a talent point to get this poison totem back because I, I do think I need it. I think it's for, right now it's just a matter of getting the uh, the charge handled and also staying near Anubarash, the big boy. Um, I think that's where we should clump up. And because this will also make it easier for you to dodge shockwaves that are coming from him. I was way too far away from him personally and that's why I died. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, Dakith, only worry about the charge. Don't even worry about anything else. Don't even worry about doing damage or anything. Only charge. Just focus on that. We should generally keep both together. Right. But, uh... If we can kind of stay close to each other, it's going to be easier to heal. Yes, for Cleave. Is there another ready check? Every bun is ready. Let's pull a game. Good luck. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. I will have your scars. Your lives are forfeit. Venomous sting. We. Viscous detonation. Charging move. Great job. Webbed him. Shockwave. Shockwave coming. Those ads. Nuke them down. Slow them. Don't don't Struggle let them fixate and kill you. Toxic wound. Shockwave target you. Charging. Move. These flames are as weak as your spine to gosh.
Careful pizza slices. Oh, can go into the one that just went off. That might be safer. We have ads, so you see them, kill them. Watch out if you're fixated. Pull apart from your partner. Special coming. I think we're missing something. It was progress. Special coming. Yeah, I died to cataclysmic entropy. And uh, that is the thing we prevent with uh, dispelling. That's what we missed, yeah. I, did, I missed people getting Stinging Swarm debuff. Stinging Swarm is what we need to debuff before Cataclysmic Entropy happens. Um, or, that ha or we die. So that's still progress. Now we have a new problem to address, which is good. <laughs> When she pulls us in, instead of running back to her, DPS comes with the debuffs. Stay out and let people with the debuffs run in. So this is for Stinging Swarm. That's the name of the debuff. So I'm going to try to look out for it this time. Uh, yeah, it's going to be getting pretty late for some people. Um, would everyone be able to stay for, uh, maybe till the top of the hour? If you need less, uh, if you don't have that much time, that's all right. Just let me know. That's the same amount of time that we, uh, spent. Yeah, I think that's fine. Two or three hours is is plenty of <laughs> time rating. <laughs> but uh, we made huge progress. Another option we have is uh, we could go back and try to do a couple of the bosses on Heroic, if that's something people would prefer to do. Or we continue make, to progress on this boss. I think we've done extremely... Uh, yeah, we've done extremely well uh, for the first run. Heroic for Vault. What do y'all want to do? Uh, you know what? I can do a ready check. Wait, 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 don't. Crap. <laughs> 
Okay, just click ready right now, uh, and I'll redo it because I didn't explain what I was doing the ready check for. You can just click ready if it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a ready check, and you can click yes, ready, if you want to continue right now progging this boss. Or you can click no, not ready to mean uh, let's do bosses on heroic that we've already did. Let's do the heroic version to get loot. So yes, we continue to prog. No, for we do hero bosses on heroic. Keep in mind, we only have till the top of the hour. Fifteen, fifteen. It. No way. Okay, so twenty buns voted to do heroic. And twelve buns, eleven or twelve buns. I don't know if I'm gonna include myself. <laughs> Counts uh, to continue. Yeah, I'm kind of fine with either. So it looks like we voted to uh, go do the heroic versions. So I think we should do that since that's what majority rules. And uh, having better gear from the heroic bosses is gonna only help us as we continue to proceed through the raid. <laughs> Do not jump off a cliff. I guess it would be the fastest way, though. <laughs> I see people jumping. Oh my god. I definitely think we can beat the boss, Silken Court. We can. Um, but I'm just looking at the time that we have left and trying to get the maximum value out of it. Because I don't know if we'll do it in the next 20 minutes. But we could get a lot more gear for our team uh, by doing Heroic now. So it feels like a right choice. More loot, more good. Okay. Once everyone is out. Heroic. I have said it. Let's go. Do you think the second boss is rough on heroic? I bet it is. Especially since we didn't really, um... I have redirected forces perfect that mechanic away from the entrance hey Elwood you thank you for subbing okay let's um Otherwise, let's let's haul ass through here if we can forces. because of the time oh shit I got a 30 second stun I'm in a cocoon stop casting oh my god I'm in a cocoon, I can't do anything. Can you let me out? Thanks. Alright, I'm 
go, 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 go. Is the first boss have any different mechanics even that we need to worry about on her own? It's the same. The it's just more damage. The conspirators have finally crawled from their holes to attack my palace. I appreciate you making the extermination of your futile resistance all the easier. Olprax, feed. Five. Four, three, two, one. Forgot what it does. <laughs> well, uh, tanks ta taunts off after style. every brutal crush. There's gonna be webbing. You can remove the digestive acid. Use the green uh, circles to remove the webbing. Run out. Help soak. Soak. Soak up the swirly thingy. Tenderized. Watch your step. Don't stand in webs. Tanks need to swap. Okay, we're about to go into phase two. Watch your step. with your food and finish them, Olbrax! Kill ads. Ads. Kill the ads when you see ads. And don't get hit by the charge. Charge might be scarier this Charging. time. Charging. Move. Ads, kill them. Charging. Move. Charge, charge, charge. Charging. Move. Charging. Move. Nuke these ads so we can get the meat and use it to feed the guy. Watch your step. There's the meat, you can pick it up and uh, go deliver him his McDonald's. Might need to feed him more. Uh, I think we did everything. No. I don't see any more. Watch your step. Yes, use those uh, green circles to destroy the webs. Good job. I think our tanks are down, so it's probably why. Run out. 
Help Silk. I think it's the same, yep. Y'all can wipe it. Both tanks are down, so there's no shot. Watch your step. Yes, the swirly, spinny, webby circle needs to be slightly away from him uh, because he's going to do a pull-in effect right after that. And uh, if you reach him, you'll die, I'm pretty sure. Try to clean the middle as much as possible so we don't have to go around with food. Yes, we need a good road to travel on for our Uber Eats. Mm -hmm. It's also everybody being spread out makes it kind of impossible to heal you on Shaman. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty bad. Um... Okay. Try to stack if you can. It would be great. It took four million from Carnivorous Contest, so there weren't enough people in it, do you? Mm -hmm. make sure you have a, a warlock cookie and maybe a health potion handy if you get low okay I'm going to do another ready check Make sure to destroy the webs with your green uh, debuff, green circle, tank swap in one, run out, help soak, 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 soak. your step. Okay, webs, don't stand in a web. Next Ooh. tank swap. Run out. Help soak. Soak. Okay. It's gonna be ads out in a second to kill. Charging me. Don't stay in the charge. Charging me. Charging. Move. Nuke down the ads. Charging. Move. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch your 
watch your step. Okay, grab the meat and give it to the boss with your extra action button. your step. Watch out for webs. Careful. Run out. Help soak. Help soak. Watch your step. Tenderized. Run out. There's another Help soak. Sink. Run out. Soak. Entering phase two again. Watch your step. This game. End this now. Ads. Charging. Move. And charges. Charging. Kill the move. ads. Charging. Move. Charging. Move. Watch your step. There's food to feed him. Be more webs. In a second, so don't get hit by a web. Watch your step. Should have let my pet to devour. Watch your step. Watch out, watch out. Next tank swap in three. Cool. Oh, the third tank. Run out. Help soak. Just gotta soak. Puddle, soak. Might want to move out a little more. Yeah. 
Stone wall needs heavy healing because. Uh, just okay. We've got ads coming. Over there, it's pinged. Charging. Move. Don't get charged out. Charging. Move. Another charge. Charging. Move. Charging. Move. Woo! Unfortunate charges. Move. Watch your step. Grab the meat and deliver it. We have any uh, movement speed buffs? Watch your step. Watch out for webs. Tenderized. Run out. Come Help and soak. soak. Come and soak. Watch your step. All right, great job. Whew. Amazing job. That was definitely much harder, <laughs> especially for me healing, because I think I'm super undergeared. Really good job, Buns. Heroic, first heroic raid boss down. It was pretty tough. Okay, well, um, I think we can probably stop there today uh, because it is already five. Uh, well, for me, <laughs> for y'all, it's much later. Um, but we had an extremely successful raid day today. It feels like a really good stopping point. We killed... Um, all the bosses up to Silken Court, and then, well, before, and then we did a heroic raid boss, so we really kicked ass. Thank you so much, everyone. For, uh, are we attempting the last two before reset? We can discuss it if you want to do that. Um, let me know in the guild chat. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to organize everything, but I would be open to it if it's something every, a lot of people are interested in doing. I might send out a, um, couple of guild questionnaires to see what roles people want to do and like what days are good for people so stay tuned to the discord for that uh everyone did a really good job <laughs> yeah i would love to finish the last two that would be great uh so maybe we can do that next week before reset let me know good night everyone thanks for coming today see you bye